Science Church comes with a reading room. This is the reading room, uh, which we converted into a scanning center. Um, the Internet Archive operates 23 scanning centers in six countries. And um, so the idea is to kind of go to where the books are rather than have all the books sort of fly around or whatever. Um, this is uh, the ones on the edges are book scanners. Uh, we designed and built these after trying out and using the you know, robots and the other, other systems. And we said, we can do this uh, better. It, somebody turns the page manually. The book is held like this. And with a floor pedal, raises and lowers the, um, uh, uh, the glass, as he's doing, um, to, uh, to then flatten the page and go click, click, and then take a picture. Raise, turn the page, click, click. Uh, it's got museum grade lighting, so it's a really good spectrum. The idea is to take a seriously good image. Uh, we've tried doing the sort of, you know, take crappy images and fix it in software approach, um, and that didn't work very well. So the idea is to go and do, take a seriously good, uh, a good image. Um, then uh, they'll basically do a process that she's doing, it goes through with the pages to sort of make sure that we have all the pages. So you don't want to basically hit you know, duplicate pages or, or uh, missing pages. Um, and then set the crop and skew. So that basically what we're trying to do is make it so you can make a reproduction of the book, a facsimile edition, mm -hmm. in true full-on color. Um, you know, whether it's a, gr uh, a yellowing page or whatever, um, whether it's foxing, the whole shebang. Um, and then we compress these and put them over the internet to the cluster. And it gets queued on the cluster to be processed. It takes about 12 hours to process a book um, where it gets compressed, it runs through optical character recognition, um, it gets put into a PDF, which is then compressed, a deja vu. There are three different text formats. We put it on uh, a format for uh, the blind, um, that's for read aloud functions. Um, also in Kindle format, EPUB format, I don't know, on and on and on. So we put it in all these different formats and we store it in two places and often in a third or fourth uh, place. Uh, it costs us 10 cents a page to digitize a book um, and that's it's the 300 page book, that's about $30 a book. Um, we've digitized uh, over a million books um, and we digitize about a thousand books a day uh, across all of the, the scanning center. So they're chunking along, and we want to do more. Uh, in general, where it's paid for is by libraries, um, is, is where most of the, the money uh, comes from at this point. Some of it was kicked off by foundation funding. Microsoft and Yahoo put in some money for a while, uh, and then as corporations do, they drop out. Um, and so but we're very glad that they, uh, they participated and helped. Then, so we've got about two million books up on the Internet Archive that are public domain books. But really what we want is all books. So then you start to get into the copyright issues, or at least the copyright fuzzy issues, like the ones that are still under some kind of copyright uh, issues. What can we do with those? So about two years ago, we said, let's go for it, and let's uh, start digitizing newer books. So we started acquiring, actually getting donations of physical books. So if you're deaccessioning any books, uh, we would love to package them up and uh, ship and pay for the shipping to get them here. Um, and we're, so we're basically building a physical collection of books. And we digitized about 150,000 of them using stimulus money, um, where there was a subsidy for our hiring uh, people that had kids and were unemployed. Um, so we uh, hired a bunch of people. And we digitized about 150,000 books at that time. Um, that was filibustered by the minority party, but that's more problems than we want to know about. Um, so that, that, uh, that funding stopped. The, um, with those books, we can make them available to the blind and dyslexic. Um, so that uh, uh, worked. And then we took a subset of those and l have been doing digital lending. So the idea of digital lending is we, if we own a physical copy, we digitize it, we don't circulate the physical copy, and we lend out a single digital copy.
And we're using the same protections that publishers are using to protect their, their current stuff. And we basically let one person have it at a time. Then, then you can have it, and if you want it, but you know, it's like, sorry, you can't have it yet. <laughs> oh, okay, now you can have it. Right? So it's sort of trying to simulate the clunkiness of, uh, <laughs> of old libraries to sort of get to the point where we can have at least some level of access to, to uh, all books. So that's what we're doing now. We've got 150 libraries participating in that program, which is really fun. Um, and it's you know, gearing up more and more and more. There are 100,000 books that are available for digital lending now for free. Um, so that's our approach. The idea is to get to a sort of a complete library, sort of a, a Boston public class library, or a Yale or a Princeton scale library. It's about 10 million volumes. So at 10 million volumes, we're about 2 million volumes in, got 8 million to go. Eh, you know, it's all told about $300 million, maybe $250 million, one-time cost. And we've got the great, you know, the great library built, including audio and video that happen to be sort of in circulation in libraries. So that's what we're gunning for and uh, looking for help any which way. Uh, on doing this. So, questions? Are you still doing the uh, print-on-demand mobile libraries you were doing a few years back? Um, gosh, that was such a cool idea. Um, <laughs> uh, so so we, we made this little van with a satellite dish, print, printer, binder, cutter, and kids came along and made their own books. And uh, if it's a short book like Alice in Wonderland, uh, you can download, print, and bind a book for a buck. So at a buck a book, you give books away. Um, and that's neat because uh, Harvard said that it cost three bucks to lend out a book and put it back on the shelf. So if it costs three bucks to lend it, why don't you know, make another copy? And, and then you don't have to worry about it not coming back or whatever it is. Um, and we're not doing that here. Let's see. The, the bookmobile that we did is up in Oregon. Okay. I'm not sure if it's being used. Um, the one in Alexandria, Egypt, I think is still going on. I'm not sure about India. The one in Uganda, I think, is not going anywhere. But you know, in a lot of those places, they just download the books and print it, you know, and put a you know staple in, or use duct tape, or you know, <laughs> and we're done. Uh, so, um, but the idea of it, it was a really good communication device for di communicating why you wanted to digitize the books. You know, because a lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't want to read a book on a screen. It's like, okay, print it back out again. Um, and so it sort of tied the you know book at Harvard digital book again for some kid in um, sort of story um, to be basically tied, tied around. Um, I really like the one last for child. So we made all of our books work on that. Um, so anyway, so we're, we made it work on all of the sort of digital readers we can, except for the lending thing on Kindle, because Kindle is such a closed platform. But everything else we can make work. What about, uh, are you just basically focusing on Bound materials or about larger format items? Uh, like larger format or? items we just do with a uh, with a fold out station here for either fold outs or larger things. For real, for sizable maps, we have uh, one of our board members, is, uh, it's David Rumsey. Yeah, okay. and he's, oh, yeah, he's Mr. Studley Map guy. Uh, yeah. And so he, he has one of those Haza Vlad, you know, yeah. bazillions of pixels thing. Uh, so that's what we do. So yeah, we, we try to just uh, digitize anything, everything. Point, point, um, right, and just all of it, and then uh, make it so that anybody that's curious can get access. Cool. Bills, yeah, let's digitize and uh, print on demand some bills. <laughs> <laughs>